Welcome to another edition of Christian Film Reviews. My name is Ray. It's been a while since I've done one of these. And when Enemies Within the Church dropped a mini-documentary, I knew I had to watch. The film is called The Story of First Baptist Church Naples. This is one of the first stories that I ever covered or provided continuous coverage on in my own ministry, Evangelical Dark Web. So I knew that these people were slandered, but the documentary provides more insight than what was previously reported. I summarized the story that Enemies Within the Church tells as follows. First Baptist Church, Naples, is a large and influential church in the Southern Baptist Convention. FBC Naples pastor Hayes Wicker is theologically solid, but he hires executive pastor John Eady. John Eady slowly works to transform FBC Naples into a more bureaucratic organization and ultimately oust Hayes Wicker in an untransparent manner that condemned his character. John Eady and his shady comrades embark to replace Wicker with Marcus Hayes. Marcus Hayes is deeply tied to the Southern Baptist Convention, most notably J.D. Greer. J.D. Greer, Kevin Ezell, and several other major figures pushed for, the F for FBC Naples to accept Marcus Hayes as their pastor. But Marcus Hayes is woke, and a number of congregants organized in an attempt to thwart his nomination and narrowly succeeded. John Eady and the Southern Baptist Convention could not stand for this and publicly slandered these people as racist. FBC Naples took to unilaterally excommunicating several members who opposed Marcus Hayes. In the end, the church's leadership is in shambles, and John Eady cashes out, leaving the viewer to contemplate whether he was paid to put Marcus Hayes forward. The story of First Baptist Church Naples is a disturbing and alarming tale, but is meant to be inspirational. J.D. Greer and his woke cronies attempted a coup at FBC Naples and were thwarted on a grand level. The film makes note that Marcus Hayes was subsequently ramrodded in Crossroads Church, Dallas. As someone who has followed this case from day one, this documentary provides a more in-depth examination. If you are a Southern Baptist, I'd say that this documentary is a must-watch. If you are a grassroots evangelical, on the other hand, I'd say you should also watch this documentary because it is very useful and applicable to your situation as well. It is free. It is on YouTube, and I'll link in the description. That's all I have to say about this. My name is Ray. This is the Evangelical Dark Web. If you like this video, do subscribe. If you've seen this documentary, tell me what you think in the comments below, and I will catch you on the next one.